And uh, hey, book, <laughs> you know, uh, we were talking in the last segment about <laughs> something that might happen at SummerSlam. And I said there was a couple minutes left of Raw. And we were like, well, there wouldn't be a surprise. But it is now official within the commercial break. <laughs> Bill Goldberg will go one-on-one -on -one with Dolph Ziggler at this Sunday's SummerSlam. What is your reaction to that? I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say, man. It's pro wrestling, man. I knew it was going to happen. I was just trying to make sure I kept y'all on the hook. I didn't want to give away no secrets or anything like that. But that <laughs> is breaking news. I, had to, I didn't want to say I knew that or anything like that. But, hey, you saw it. It, yeah, it, it's going down. Uh, it's official. Dolph Ziggler versus Bill Goldberg, SummerSlam. Uh, you know, we saw Undertaker come back uh, in that tag match with Roman Reigns against Shane and Drew McIntyre at Extreme Rules last month. Now Goldberg's coming back. Uh, you, you said it when this Saudi Arabia match happened. I mean, it was what it was. There was a lot of factors at play. Uh, it wasn't the greatest performance of all time by any stretch of the imagination. But now both these guys coming back. And you said if it were you, you'd want to wash the taste out of your mouth as quickly as possible. Uh, is this a good move for Bill Goldberg? Nah, man. Definitely it is, man. I mean, like I say, the um, Saudi Arabia thing, um, not too many people could prepare for something like that. Um, I give the undertaker, um, you know, um, b being one of the few guys who would have perhaps find themselves in a situation like that, you know, once upon a time, you know, um, and it wasn't the greatest match of all times. It wasn't that history making match, you know, that, um, and that dream match, you know, people thought that they were, that they were going to see. Okay, be that as it may, there again, it's professional wrestling. Okay, um, things like that happen. Uh, Muhammad Ali and and um, um, the Noki wasn't the greatest match of all times or anything like that, but but it was history. It was history uh, um, uh, for for professional wrestling. More important than anything, Goldberg now getting the chance to come back. And uh, at SummerSlam in Toronto, Canada, hey, big up um, for the company saying, hey, let's give Goldberg a chance to wash that taste out of his mouth and he don't have to, you know, go out thinking, you know, about that one match. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's not about that one match. And we're going to find that out in a few days. And do you think Dolph Ziggler, I mean, we've seen Ziggler come back. He's had that interaction with Shawn Michaels, which was just going on in the segment. They almost teased it to make you think, oh, he's going to go against Shawn Michaels. Then Goldberg's music hits. Is Dolph Ziggler the right opponent for a Bill Goldberg? Last time it was The Undertaker. We've seen him wrestle Brock Lesnar in his previous run, Kevin Owens. Is Dolph Ziggler a good matchup for Goldberg to go out there and look like the Goldberg of old uh, this Sunday? Well, you remember Shawn Michaels when he did that moonsault in Saudi Arabia and he landed real hard. He said, man, I'm too old for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think he actually said that at the end of the match. <laughs> no, he didn't say yeah. that at the end of the match. That, that's a quote. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, but, uh, but, but no, uh, you know, it was a good matchup for Goldberg. If anybody can go out there. If, well, if anybody knows what this business is really all about, it is Dolph Ziggler. You know, Dolph Ziggler's been in the company now. How long? Uh, man, since 2003, maybe? 2004? Well, well the, thing is, and the thing is, Dolph Ziggler, he's worked in every spectrum spectrum of the, the game uh, as far as the card goes. You know, he's opened the, the card. You know what I mean? He's uh, He's been a mid-card guy. He's worked in the main event. Um, he's worked in the mid-card. Uh, he's worked uh, in the main event. He's worked uh, uh, at the beginning. He's worked in the main event. This guy's worked all over the spectrum, and um, that's what that's the sign of a true uh, worker. I mean, um, Dolph Ziggler is a true general of, of this game. Um, you're talking about a guy who perhaps you thought uh, could have um, went out there and complained about this and complained about that. You know, Dolph Ziggler, he, he just keeps uh, uh, his nose to the grind because you know why? He knows how good he is. He knows he's talent. You know, at the end of the day, when it's all over with, Dolph Ziggler is a guy who's going to still have a job just because 
of um, he's Dolph Ziggler. Uh, when people say, man, who's that guy? He's Dolph Ziggler. That's the only thing they're going to have to say um, because um, his, his resume is going to speak for itself. I always say, uh, you know, when, you, when you're really that good, your name gets there well before you do, and Dolph Ziggler is one of those type of guys. So if anybody can go out there and guide the ship and, and journal that thing and, and make Goldberg look better than he ever looked in his life, you know, um, you got your guy in Dolph Ziggler. I, I agree with you, and I looked it up. Dolph Ziggler's been in the company since 2004, and he debuted as Kerwin White, which is Chavo Guerrero's uh, uh, caddy for his when when Chavo was doing that that kind of if it ain't white it ain't right golf gimmick. So that's how long Dolph Ziggler's been in the company. Then he went to the Spirit Squad. Then he was the World Champ. Then he was inter- I mean, you're right. He's been all over the place, and I think that. This is a really good look for Ziggler, too, right? I mean, to go out there against Goldberg, you have now one of the top marquee matches at SummerSlam, and you're going to have the most hype going into the match because it was the last big match announced. I mean, you have other matches on there like Charlotte versus Trish Stratus, which is a major match. You have Kofi Kingston defending the championship. You got the universal title, Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. But now I think this is the match going into Sunday that the most people are talking about, and that's good for Dolph Ziggler. Now, let me ask you this. One last thing on it. How much pressure is on Goldberg? I mean, how much pressure? After coming off that the, the, the performance in Saudi, which, you know, it is what it is. How much pressure is on him? Or if he knows that he's going up against a guy like a Dolph Ziggler, someone like you said, who is a ring general, who can help him out out there, who knows what he's doing inside the squared circle, is some of the tension and pressure taken off of him because of who he's going up against? Oh, man, of course there's going to be a lot of pressure for Goldberg going into this match. But I think it's been like that for Goldberg in every match. I think every match that he's gone into, he's had butterflies. You know what I mean? Every match he's gone in into, you know, he's been, you know, um, tight and tensed about it. You know, I, I really believe that. You know, no matter what, it was one of those three minutes, uh, you know, matches or one of those, you know, um, you know, 30-second squash matches. I'm sure he had anxiety from, from, from just not – feeling, you know, that comfortable out there. But I honestly feel like, you know, um, you know, all of that is going to, you know, um, going to settle in with, with a guy like Dolph Ziggler out there, you know, and I know the match is not, I'm, no, I'm sure they're not going to go out there and have a, a 15 minute, you know, um, you know, classic match or anything like that, or, you know, 30 minute Broadway or anything like that. Um, right. I don't know how long the match is going to be, but like, I, I really honestly believe if anybody could put, you know, Bill Goldberg in the best place, best position he possibly could be in, in a, in a inside a twenty by twenty foot ring. If it was any guy in the roster that I would call for that job, it would be Dolph Ziggler.